God, can you knock next time? Yes, I like to read while I'm in the bathroom, okay? I can't afford an iPad like everyone else can. So I take you here for the review. Right, right this way. All right, today's review, we're gonna be reviewing a show that's quite different. Actually, a lot of shows we're reviewing have been a little bit different. Well, you can say that this show has a bit of a colorful spark to it. That and the animation's really cool to look at. This is the amazing world of Gumball. Oh, what can I say about this show? Well, for one, it's colorful, funny, and overall good. For what it is. The cartoon's about two kids named Gumball and Darwin, who have many adventures in their normal day lives. Is it just me, or is the whole two kids trying to live in their everyday lives thing being a random trend in cartoons? These kids are funny, loud, and like to over-exaggerate every possible situation that comes in their way. And even I have to admit that they, without question, are cute as hell. This staring match is boring. How can we spice it up? Like this? Ah, ah. Or like this! Along with them is their family. They fill their roles well. The protective mother, the dumb father, and of course, the smart little sister. There are other great characters in the show, but the best thing about the show itself is the many ways the characters are animated. These different animations are very unique and somehow pay tribute to older animation styles from the past. There are tons of different animations that represent these characters, from stop motion to CGI. I also like how the show does pay nods to older cartoon trends. How one episode we look at what the world would be like if everything non-living had a face or personality. Besides that, this show does follow the same random trend with the let's be as random as possible in cartoons nowadays. While the show does follow the same formula, and at least tries to present it in a narrative way by linking the events together, or at least providing some sort of moral lesson. Another thing I have to say about this show is its recent voice changes have been a little bit distracting. But really that is just something I have to get used to. Can't do anything about aging actors. Other than that, this show just seems to be full of surprises. I like the fact that this show was supposed to be an adult swim, but was rejected because of how mind-blowingly cute it was. Overall, The Amazing World of Gumball is a fun and colorful show that does rely on its random events, but I have to say makes up for it with great humor and cute characters. Not much else to say about the show, except it's, well, enjoyable. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'm going to finally know what it's like to play video games while sitting on the toilet. Crap, I dropped it in the toilet. Screw it, I'm just going back to the paper. Oh, are you kidding me?